I was supposed to be on a trip to Atlanta, Georgia for a week with my friend. And basically she told me that that was the case. But she had two friends that booked the flight for her, very older male. And my grandma was very patient and she 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 only had physical issues like but her mental issues it's like it was not as present as my mom's mm. so you miss your grandma yes i'm telling you i miss her how does that make you feel it's like where's my mom my mom someone i used to have nightmares i used to go in her room when I had my own room, she used to be there for me. And now I'm in a nightmare, a real nightmare. Where are you? You're not here. There's people sitting next to me on the street. What's up, YouTube? Man, it looks like things are heating up for summer 23. So stay tapped in. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? No, Atlanta Street Interviews. Okay, so Out here with start another up. one. No, I ain't gonna start over. You good, trust me. We're good, we're good. All right, so how you doing today, sweetie? I'm great, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for asking, thank you for asking. It's a beautiful day out here. Um, so, are you homeless? As of right now, yes. Okay, and so how old are you? I'm 20. 20? And so, how long have you been homeless? It's been about, I've, I've had many instances where I was homeless, mainly because of like, situational things, environmental things. I didn't like how I was being treated in the spaces that I was supposed to be loved. Also, as of right now, I was supposed to be loved by my friend. She, it was supposed to be a trip to Atlanta to take my mind off what I go through when I'm in Florida. And I was, strand, I was left stranded in the middle of Georgia, Sewanee, Georgia. And I had to find my way back here. I did through with the help of like- You got stranded in Sewanee? Yes. What happened? I was supposed to be on a trip to Atlanta, Georgia for a week with my friend. And basically she told me that that was the case. But she had two friends that booked the flight for her, very older males that like promised us that we would have a good time. They took us to a hotel, made us wait two hours until the check-in time instead of strolling around the, the Georgia to see like, you know. And then we ended up in Red Roof Inn. They tried to make me, like touching on me inappropriately even though I did not give them the consent to. And now I'm here because I wanted to escape that. Before so wait. Weird because my friend was trying to fight me for not being complacent. Like not being like, what's the word? Like not submissive, being submissive and yeah, subservient. So what he was trying to do, I was trying to be assertive. And once I seen I was being, he, that was not working. I started being aggressive and trying to call the police. Now I understand the stigma around police. Is there's a lot of police brutality. I grew up seeing it. But if I'm in danger, I'm gonna call the police because you guys are threatening me or making me feel unsafe. So I'm calling the police. So the police helped me from Uber to the airport. The airport, I was not able to afford a plane ticket because they they were the ones who brought me there and they refused to, my family even told them that they would be have to be the ones to find me back. And they refused because my family is is not like, could not afford a, a, a plane ticket, $200 for me that day. Like, So now I'm here. How long have you been here? From the Gateway Center. I've been here for about two days now. Two days? Yes. <sighs> okay, so. All right, we're gonna pack all this. We're gonna unpack all this, but just real quick, do you have any kids? No. Okay, have you ever been married? No. Okay. No. Okay, so, all right, so, <laughs> so, how old is this friend that invited 21, you? 21, and in her head, she believes she's like 10 years older than we need with more experience. Meanwhile, I don't know where she is now. I was just told never to speak to her again by every party that heard my situation. The police, the law, people around me, in the streets, my mother, so my let family. Me, so let me ask you this, right? Do you understand what actually happened is that you were, basically, they attempted to traffic you? Wow, well, yes. Do you I, understand I, I, I now that that's so what was I happening? I was told that I, I was gaslighted into thinking that was not the case. So someone warned you ahead of time that this was probably the case? No, I warned my friend ahead of time that this is probably the case. Why are we No, in she was probably of, in on it. That's what I believe so too, as I think have more like introspective on the situation like in hindsight I feel like she was in on it because why were you so mad and not trying to get you're supposed to be my friend you said we come here together we leave together I'm here by myself in Atlanta Georgia sleeping on the ground I have no means to get home I have no service on my phone because I can't even get to cricket I don't know where it is I need the GPS I'm stuck okay. I have nothing I have my, my luggage is literally in Suwannee in, in a place because I didn't want to carry it and be vulnerable in the streets with a bag 
I'm the only one walking in Suwannee because it's not the classism there. Is 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 yeah no it's it. yeah yeah I mean yeah Suwannee is a much different area than Atlanta. Yes. Um and so okay so all right let's let's just let's start from the beginning. So where are you from? Fort Lauderdale, Florida. You from Fort Lauderdale? Yes. Hey man, shout out that Fort Lauderdale, Florida Broward man. County. Yes sir, shout out that big Broward County all day long. And so growing up in Florida, um, did you have both mom and dad in the household? I had, my, I had my mother, yes, and I had my stepdad, yeah. I knew him since I was two, so You say head, stepdad, dad, but, but basically kind of like your dad, but yes. your stepdad? Okay, as far as your uh, biological dad, was he active and present in your life? He was in, he's in Haiti. He was left behind for reasons I'm starting to wonder why, but yes. So you never got a never got to full meet explanation? Him. It's been years since I've speak, spoken to him. You've never gotten to meet him? I've, I've only talked to him for like minimal times in my childhood. There's been times where my mom reached out to him on WhatsApp to speak to me. She never made it an effort. So in my head, I thought it was something that doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm doing like therapy. Today. How do you, how, and so, you know, how does that make you feel? That I feel like there's no love around me, no real love. So now I'm in the streets and you see people that are in situations where they didn't have no love. And you feel like that's where you get love. But I'm only here for two days, so I see how people get dragged into situations like these because they don't even have love in their homes, so they're gonna go out or get ended up out. Well, so I mean, like let's let, let's talk about it, right? So okay, so all right, growing up, um, so you you basically grew up in the house with your mom and your stepdad, and yes. so and so, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a brother and a sister. And a so, where child. are you in the birth order? I'm a middle child. You're the middle child. Yes. Okay, and so, um, you know, growing up, would you say that you had like a, you know, fairly normal childhood? No, not at all. I was provided for, yes. Tell me as about it. As far as like clothing and food and shoes and stuff, but when it comes to situations like these, no emotional support. Tell me what happened. I've always had to fend for, my, for myself, hyper independence, really bad. Now I'm here trying to figure out how I'm going to get out. These people are barely even helping me, telling me I have to have patience even though I've been up since 7 a.m., woke up at the crack crack of the morning to go and stand in the line and get help and i'm still here well you know it things right. happen fair enough but i mean okay so i mean you know i'm just gonna ask right um you know did anything ever happen to you when you was younger i was abused physically abused yes not to get my business out there but i was physically abused i should have called cps on by myself. who my mother and so what type of abuse are we talking about? Like Physical abuse of many forms, even abu physical abuse to take pediasures. Cause I have like a very, like I like food, but like at times I won't have much of an appetite, maybe depending on my mood. And so I would have to take insures now. And that's another thing too about me being stranded in Georgia. I was trying to tell them I need to take my vitamins. They have the vitamins I need so I can be able to be hungry again. And they were refusing to give me it. And then they were mad that I was frustrated. That's a, that's the type of energy everyone in, like my close relatives even give me. Well, so As okay. If I'm supposed to fend for myself when I don't have even the transportation to get there. I can have the money, but how much? Well, I let's gonna get let, let's let's talk about it, right? So okay, and you know, just to be clear, I mean, did any type of sexual trauma ever happen to you Not when you were younger? Not that I know of. No. Not that you know of. Okay, and so you know, I mean, you know, did you like go to high school and stuff like that? Yes, I, I excelled. I was gifted and. and Gifted in academics? Yes, very. Okay, and I so you graduated. graduated. with a 3.9. I know that's not all that, but... Well, no, that is. That's very impressive. So, congratulations to they that. They didn't make me feel like that. Now I'm here. Well, I mean, did you do any college after that? I went to LIU, and I wasn't able to afford the housing fees. Hmm. Now I'm stuck. Because I was so stressed well, I mean, about how to do so that my grades didn't do that. Now I'm trying to... Figure out how I'm gonna speak to FAFSA about it because I was recommended to do so with a letter so that it can help me go back to school. Okay, okay, okay. So let's. I mean, so let, let's talk about this, right? So how did how did you end up even meeting this friend that you say you know? How long have you known her? We, we met in LIU. Okay, we were so, in the same situations except we had different ways of approaching it. What was her way of approaching it? Being desperate. I see moon people who don't even care about her for money. Being desperate and doing what? Probably selling her body, which she's probably doing as of right now. I don't know. I'm I'm actually worried for her because at the end of the day, I'm a, more of a friend to her than she is to me. 
she hasn't even found, tried to reach out to me when she knows she's the one who pushed me away, scared me away at that. And so, I mean, well, okay, so let, I mean, I'm going to ask, right? So, if you knew that she was doing that back then. I didn't know. I, I honestly thought it was just a trip to him. And well, no, I mean, as far as you said that basically. She, but the way she would approach it would be like she would call everyone in her contact list for money instead of being like me and looking for a job. Like, you know, like it, it, she tried to make the short way out for everything. She's right, shoplifts. always trying to like she's get shoplifts. the fast cash. She doesn't, she tried to get me into shoplifting. I'm like, I don't do that. Now she stole my stuff. She has a lot of my stuff in her room. I didn't well, even get the chance to get all the stuff. If, if if she was a you know shoplifter, if she does all this stuff, I, why just, did you trust her I'm to just, come on this trip know, with her? I don't know. Maybe trauma. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly question that to myself. I put my, parts of me put myself in this situation. That's why I'm beating myself up. And so, as far as it goes, I mean, like, your is your mom still with your stepdad? My mom, my stepdad cheated on her, had a baby on her about a year ago. It's been we. She got evicted. It's been terrible. It's been terrible. Wait, what? Yes, my mom got evicted. My mom got evicted from our home we've been living in for three years because he no longer pays the bills. He's a truck driver driving around with a whole other family. Hmm. Yep, evil. Well, I mean, you said that he's been with you since you were two. And he has blocked me. I don't even know what I did to him. He blocked you? Yes. My number is blocked. Okay. So, I mean, if, if, if I were to, you know, if I were to somehow be able to ask him, why would you block her? What do you think he would tell he me? He might say, I'm not sure because my brother told me he thinks, he, he remember him saying that I lashed out on him, but I don't remember. I, don't, I honestly don't remember. I don't think I would do that to him. Like, but maybe I did. Maybe it was out of frustration. <laughs> I don't remember, though. I honestly don't even have my old messages from when I reset my phone. And so, I mean, have you ever had, like, any type of mental health or mental illness diagnosis? I was diagnosed with depression when I was 16. My mom dismissed it. We went to the therapy place, and she told them, no, I got therapy when I was in college, my first year of college at LIU. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, you know, how much does it take it to get back to Florida? With spirit, maybe around 100 today, maybe 100. I don't know. I'm Definitely sure. somewhere up say. under 200 bucks, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, none of your family can... No, you know what my mom said to me? She said, when I told her I'm stranded, mommy, I'm stranded. You can see, let me, can I show you my phone? It's dead, though. I told her, mommy, I'm stranded. She says, I sent her that at like three, a span of two, one day, two days. She never responded. I called, the police had to call her for her to respond. She blocked me, too. The police had to call her, and then that's when... I Your mom blocked you? Yes, my mom always blocks me. She only unblocks me to talk, to ask me something. Why does she block you? I'm not sure. I don't know if my parents have avoiding personalities or what, but they always do shit like that. And I'm, it's really irritating. It's frustrating, and they wonder why I lash out. Now, now I'm over here telling her, like, um, she, she was like, oh, if I'm going to act like that, I don't need help. Even ask this police department in Suwannee, they heard the conversation. I'm never having an attitude with her. I try my best to communicate and she talks over me. I've been dealing with her for 20 years. Like, I tried to find means and ways to communicate. I've even had therapy. She's unfit. Our relationship at this point, I love her with all my heart. I respect her. But she needs help, psychological help. And she needs someone, people around her that will enforce that instead of just me. Hmm. She's been through a lot. I've been, I've been with my mom more than my brothers and my sister because my brother is my little brother. My sister was raised in Haiti. She came here when I was in middle school. Right. And our, our relationship was tainted for the first three years I met her because my mom would constantly compare us. So. Mm. What's you guys' relationship like uh, today? Me and my sister, we're, we're on bad terms as of like last week because she is like in this, um, I don't know what she's going through, but she's like in her own world. So, I called her yesterday, no response, no call back. The police, the airport told me to call them, no response, no call back. Okay. So, I mean, I'm telling you, know, you, maybe there's two sides of the story, but I've been dealing this with this my whole fucking life. I, I know I used to be more hot-headed about it, but now I'm calming down. I got the therapy I needed, and now it's the same way. Now I know it's just environmental. 
it's not even just internal anymore. Well, okay, so let, let me ask, right? So there may be some viewers who are gonna say, well, you know, how much of this is on you? Yeah, there's both sides, I know, but I got the healing I needed. What is everyone else doing, avoiding me, not being a family, not being there for your loved one who's stranded in Georgia? And I have no means to get back on my own. They want me to be independent. How am I gonna go back? So I mean, are you were you like working down there or whatever? Did you have do you have a job? I was, and we moved to plantation when my mom got evicted. I was trying in the process of getting a job, but I wanted to take my mind off even living there. There's six people in one room. There's six people in one room. That's why I needed a break, and then the break never even happened. It's another thing because my friend who I thought loved me does not. She tells me she loves me all the time. She does not because I'm stranded here. So who does love you? My brother, my little brother, who, who shows proper love, my little brother. That's all I could say. My grandma too, she passed when I was in high school, senior year at 50 something. That's why I'm telling my mom to take care of herself so I don't lose her before she even get the chance to heal. And my grandma was very patient and she 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 only had physical issues like but her mental issues it's like it was not as present as my mom's mm. so you miss your grandma yes i'm telling you i miss her do you think that if she was still here that she would have sent the money so that you wouldn't be stranded she probably would have her and her husband. She had she my, my grandma I met her in middle school. I had no issues with my grandma ever, ever, ever. She passed when I was in the senior year of high school. And that's when my mom went more food. She doesn't even understand grief. Mm. So I mean if your mom were to happen to come across this video on YouTube um, and you know she's hearing all this she's seeing uh, she's seeing what she's seeing on the screen and so do you have a message for her do you have anything that you want to tell her if you really so look love her us, look her dead in the camera look her if you really love us the family I know you do I know you do I've known you more than anybody else and you always say that if you really love us me Wawa Wiggly our grandma you would do what you have to do to make sure you are healthy so you can live on and be there for us as you are supposed to, as I know you before all the trauma. I know you. I know you. I know you. You have you, you told me I love you once in the past three years. Not even. I haven't heard I I heard I love you once from you in the past years. Literally last week. That's I, I she said I love you. How does that make you feel? It's like where is my mom? My mom, someone, I used to have nightmares. I used to go in her room when I had my own room and she used to be there for me. And now I'm in a nightmare, a real nightmare. Where are you? You're not here. There's people sitting next to me on the streets. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, listen, I mean, you know, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help or donate, and if they wanted to help you to get the money up so that you can get back home, do you have a way that they could do that? Do you have? I have a cash app. My cash app is my name with two E's at the end. It's spelled F as in Frank, R, I, B as in dog, E as in elephant, L, I, N as in no, E as in elephant, twice, E, E. Okay. Okay. All right, sweetie. Well, listen, um, we really appreciate you taking the time, answering all of our questions, and we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, okay? Thank you. Make sure I appreciate you have a good one, okay? Everything. Thank you. Y'all right, answered sir. my prayers. Thank you.